okay class now we uh, come to the exercise 1c okay and this is uh, about the division of the integers division of the integer now the rules that we have learned for the multiplication of integers the same rules we have for the division of integers like if you have two positive integers or two negative integers their sign will be positive and if one of the integers is negative or one of the integers is positive then the sign of the quotient will be negative if the integers that you are going to divide they are of different signs then the uh, quotient that you will get is uh, will be always negative but if they are of the same signs then you, the quotient will be positive the same rule that we have learned for multiplication now okay now uh, as I told you that in division also we have the same rules as for multiplication but in multiplication I can get more than two integers to multiply I can have two uh, integers or three or four or five uh, to multiply uh, five or more than five integers I can multiply at one time but in division at one time you can get only two integers so either both the integers can be positive or both the integers can be negative or one positive and one negative so the rule is about the sign is the same as we have learned for the multiplication now i'll start solving the sums this is from the first question some of the parts i've written so 65 i have to divide with minus 30 so 13 5 is a 65 so the answer is 5 now what about the sign as one of the integer is positive one is negative it means my sign will be negative the side of the quotient will be negative now to come to the next example minus 76 i have to divide with 19 so 19 forza is 76 now what about the sign now since one of the integer is negative one is positive so both the signs are different means my answer will be negative now come to the next one here both the integers are negative so 18 Forza is 72. Now what about the sign? Because both the uh, integers are negative, so my sign will be positive. The negative and negative gets cancelled. Now 0, I have to divide with minus 31. Whenever I divide 0 with any number, my answer is always 0. And 0 is neither negative nor positive now minus 8 i have to divide with 1 so when i divide 8 with 1 uh, any number with 1 i get the same number as the answer now what about the sign because one of the integers is negative so my answer will be negative okay class now i start with the next question uh, the second question here some blanks are given and we have to fill them up so I'll teach you one method how to fill the blanks over here. So I, for the blanks, I can use X because I have to uh, find this out. So I can uh, write over here X. So it says 72 divided by X. So 72 divided by X is equal to minus 4. So when you have the fractions like this like this i have converted into a fraction 72 uh, divided by x is equal to minus 4 so this side also i can convert this into a fraction how can i convert i can put one over here so when you have fractions on both the sides and you have to fi find the value of x what you do is you cross multiply them you cross multiply cross multiply them what it means is that 72 you multiply by 1 and minus 4 you multiply with x so it becomes minus 4 x. Now I have to find the value of x so what I will do is I will send minus 4 to this side. So minus 4 multiplied by x. So uh, to find the value of x, I will uh, shift this minus 4 this side. Now here it is multiply. So when I will shift its side, it will become divide over there. It will become 
dy. Now you solve this. So four one the four eights are thirty two, and because one of the integers is negative, so it means my answer will be minus eighteen. It means here. Divide minus eighteen. Now eighteen divide thirty two divided by minus eighteen is minus four. So let me do one more example. I said uh, for the blank I can write x. Okay. So x divided by minus four. So x divided by minus four I can write like this is equal to twenty four. So this I have changed into a fraction and here also I. Make a fraction by adding one as a denominator. Now, what to do? How to solve when I have fractions on both the sides? I have to cross multiply. Means x I have to multiply with one, and twenty four I have to multiply with minus four. So x multiplied by one is x only. X one is x, and twenty four into four will become ninety six. And because one of the integers is negative, so minus ninety six. So what's the answer? It means here I what will come minus ninety six. So ninety six divided by four, you will get twenty four. And because both the signs are negative, so answer is twenty four. Okay, I'll do one more example. So uh, let me do the example number two. Okay, so minus thirty six divided by x, which is a blank, minus four. So I can write this as minus thirty six divided by x. So it will come down. The other side will have minus four because this is a fraction. I will convert this also into a fraction. Now how how I can solve the fractions? And when I have fraction on both the side by cross multiplying them, it means minus thirty six. I will multiply with One and minus four, I will multiply with x. Now I have to find x, so minus four, I will shift this side, and because here it is multiply, the other side it will become divide. So minus four. So this is one. So four nines are thirty six, and when you have dividing both the negative integers, negative and negative gets cancel. So your answer is nine. So it means minus thirty six divided by nine will give you minus four because one of the integers is negative. Okay, so you must have understood this. Okay, now come to the third part, which uh, here some questions are given, uh, and you have to find uh, tell whether the answer is. Uh, True or false? So I'll take some of the parts here. Okay. So these some parts are given, and you have to tell whether these are true or false. Now they are saying zero divided by minus four is zero. So whenever I divide any number or zero with any number. My answer is zero only, so this is true. Now they are saying minus five divided by minus one. Minus five divided by minus one. So five divided by one one five and gets cancelled, and your answer should be positive five. But they are saying the answer should be minus five. So will this be correct? No. So this is a false statement. Okay, now here there is fifth part minus one divided by minus one. So minus and minus will get cancelled, and you will get a positive one. But according to the question, they are saying it should be minus one. So, but no, it should be plus one. So this statement is false. So like this, you have to. So with this, we complete our first chapter. So I hope you have understood. Thank you.